Mondo Kasha. Yes, the game for Trinity Major, Steve Housham uh, alongside me. Steve, I don't think your players needed to get a sweaty shirt this afternoon, did they? <laughs> the, the, the rain, uh, you know, made it wet for them, but, uh, you know, delighted with the three points. The only negative today was probably the goal right at the end, where we just went sloppy for five minutes, you know. And I'm making changes as well, but even though they should come on and uh, do the job properly and finish it well, and uh, it just took the gloss off it a bit, you know. As a centre half or a goalkeeper, you want the clean shoot, and, to be fair, we should have had a clean sweep, but we switched off for one second and we get done. And uh, you know, it, it was sloppy the last five minutes, but all in all, it was a, a good performance. Today. And last week you used the wind in the second half, but this week you had it in the first half and took full advantage of it with those two goals. Yeah, I mean, I can't control the, 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 the coin toss. You know, they they've come here and thought they'll go with the wind second half. And, you know, we've lost the coin toss and. You know, luckily it went, went right for us, we, we set off in a good tempo, uh, delighted for Nish to get his goals and could and should have added a hat-trick, I think he missed the easiest one of the game uh, with a free header, but you know, delighted for Nish because he, he bides his time and uh, you can see why he's here, you know, he gets goals and uh, pops in the box and uh, finish off. Well, this is lovely, I appreciate it. Thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Are we starting to see the best of him now, do you think? Those two finishes from what the time I saw it in the Boston. That's what he was known for. Yeah, you know, like say, um, I say, I always say um, before the game, especially today, I said to Jarmo because it was a wet and slippery surface, hit your shots outside the box. And I said to Noosh, when you're in that six yard box, make sure you get a shot off. Because, you know, that's what Noosh is about, in and around that area, and that's a, a proper striker for you. Um, you know, second goal, by the way, what a finish that was, and what a move. You know, uh, Jamie Yates, great ball in the box, and to get across with a defender like that, that's. You know, that's League, league, uh, league goal sort of thing, you know, and how do you like the move from the club move from the shot a great finish. I think a lot of the supporters up here in the stand alongside us delighted for Liam Davis when he got his goal. Him and Jamie Yates caused a lot of problems today. They did. Um, I thought Liam more than what Jamie Yates did. Um, you know, let's say I, I brought Liam off to have a rest in the end and get, get Jamie Yates 90 minutes, but I can still see, you know, it's frustrating with Jamie because he can offer so much um, and we just want him to be more positive if we can and you know it's not a lack of game time or a lack of confidence um, I, I still don't think we saw the best of Jamie Yates today and uh, you know, he can offer so much and uh, I'm delighted that he got through the 90 minutes and uh, we said the two wide men would probably cause them problems and uh, you know, I'm delighted for the curve, I'm delighted for Liam that he got in the score sheet, delighted for Liam to get money in the match and there was a few out there that we could have probably picked today. Uh, and this means that the league form continues. It's fantastic to run a games at the moment. And do you think you possibly could be the side? There's a side every season who comes out of nowhere to snatch a playoff place at the death. Do you think it could be your team this year? Well, you know, I'm not going to put uh, and say yes, we are. You know, I'm just going to take over games that come in. We've got a busy period coming up over Christmas. We're going in good form. Um, you look at the games that we have got at home and. You, you try and set targets at your home games, win as many as you can. Uh, but at any game, you go out there to, you know, to win. And um, we'll see where it takes us. You know, we'll just keep going. That's four wins out of five, three on the back at home. I set the lads a target of uh, winning them games at home, and we have them. Uh, so, you know, we'll just see where it takes us. We're not going to get carried away. Um, we'll go to teams and. If they beat us, they're over the moon for beating us. If my lads are in there, it's calm, they're relaxed. We've got three points, let's move on to the next game. And what has it done for confidence, these last couple of results? Great confidence, and, and to be fair, you know, even first half, I think we, was, we could have upped the gears. I don't think we were as uh, fluent football or out like that, you know, in spells we was, but I, I just think we could, uh, we could up the gears a, a few more, and, uh, you know, we've probably won four games there. And Tom was the best we played in the last. So, you know, as long as we dig deep um, and keep, keep on grinding these results out, who knows? I mean, that's our dream to put in the top 10 tonight. Yeah, 10. 10, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that was the target in 5 o'clock, and we're in there, we'll take that, and, you know, we'll go for happy if we're likely. 
<laughs> well done on your win today, Steve. Cheers, That's Steve Harrison, the 